Lekker Greg Vegan Camp, the 1st of March 2020. This mask is not for coronavirus, but coronavirus is still an interesting part of this episode. But this mask is primarily for the bad air quality. Putting some more plastic in bottles again. Check out the Echo Bricks initiative. I recommend that schools and other places where people have like time for education should investigate in Echo Bricks so we can reduce the amount of plastic also being burned, also contributing to the bad air quality. As you can see, if you investigate the maps of fires over Southeast Asia and Thailand and Laos and Cambodia, you can see a lot of uh, fires going on right now. And that's the major contribution to it. it I mean, why now? Okay. Now is, of course, it's worse now because of the dry season and we don't have the rains to push it all down on the ground. But anyway, I think there is a high probability that burning fields is a major contribution to the bad air quality we have in, in many parts of Thailand right now. And other countries too nearby, like Laos, Cambodia, also Malaysia in some areas. This is one of the major reasons why I'm still around here. Cavendish bananas coming up. Limes, using sprinklers to water around, otherwise nothing, uh, I mean, it will grow, but there is just a higher probability that the plants will survive and grow better when we, they have access to water. It's an uh, essential nutrient for many of these plants. And yes, the papayas are booming. I mean, I cannot keep up, I can maximum eat two or three per day. So I will just harvest two here, just from this single papaya tree. My trusty tool to harvest papayas. Look at this, it's already like mega overripe and already starting to get bad here. It's, it's in, insane. Yet another tree. These are the red ones. Over there, I showed you before, were the orange ones. There are like three up there getting ready, ready to be harvested also. I just harvested these two orange ones. I already had like two of these red ones harvested yesterday. And I just catch this and then I, my finger just went through. It's so soft. It's crazy. And when my finger goes through, I need to eat it because I cannot store it like this. Or I could put it in the refrigerator, but it's, yeah. And sometimes when they are like overripe or very ripe, Sometimes they lose their sweetness or maybe they weren't sweet in the first place. But these are really sweet right now. Don't know what's going on. Maybe because they get some water from the watering. Occasionally when you eat papaya you need to take off your mask. When you have the sprinkles on, like you cannot smell that bad. I mean around 100 is not like the super, super nasty stuff. But still it's not, not very good. The coronavirus. The thing is that people get very scared, there's something new, and it affects everything. People are afraid of going to hospitals, and then they lie about if they might have coronavirus, and then they infect their family, and they go to work, the children go to school. And this is one of the reasons I'm also staying here for a while and not going anywhere, staying in the, the smoke season. I have my, my tent and my air filters. It's because if I catch the coronavirus, I'm not so much scared of getting the coronavirus, I'm just more scared of what they might give me in the hospital because they probably need to isolate me in a hospital or something. Because I wouldn't want to be at home infecting other family members. Maybe I would just take my tent and go somewhere and I could just... Uh, if, I, mean, I don't know how to get like water and food then without infecting other people. Because people would be super scared if you get the coronavirus. So the best thing is to avoid the coronavirus, not because it's um, super dangerous, 
It's more dangerous to go to the hospitals and all the medicines that they will give to you. That's the scary part because if you're, you get your uh, all these different types of uh, medicines, your immune defense will go down and you will have less chance to fight the virus but with the body's own own tools to fight viruses. The best thing is to avoid the virus because of all the dangers and all the talking like people here are talking like okay this other area they have the coronavirus now and and uh, the only good thing about that is that people are not they're afraid of going to hospitals so even though uh, they might be in other cases w would go to the hospital they're not going anymore which is a good thing because I don't think the solution is to go to hospital if you're like ill you need to look at your lifestyle like take care of yourself sleep enough get the right food food like plants plant, whole food plant-based avoid animal products and stuff like that and there will be there's like very little chance that you need to go to or risk that you need to go to the doctor or the hospital if you just take care of yourself the problem is that people don't take care of themselves and, and then they go to solutions like medicines and and, <laughs> and other crazy stuff like going to a doctor or hospitals and, and coffee <laughs> medicines, coffee and hospitals, caffeine is also like a medicine for some people yeah when you do um, different types of experiments and you need like I need some parts from from China to make my <laughs> the irrigation timer system and these parts are just like after 30 days of waiting they just get cancelled so it's a bit a bit hard to do like irrigation experiments here at the camp at the moment because of the parts are, are like missing from like a solar panel I've been waiting for two months for a solar, small solar panel so now I have like two solar panels that's trying to charge a 12 volt battery like a small motorcycle battery to to, to run a solenoid vo uh, valve to water two times 20 minutes uh, in the area where we have the leafy greens and stuff fun to observe how uh, like the fear of the corona I think the fear is is much worse than anything else it's uh, like there are so many other things that are worse like the, the burning of the fields and stuff but the coronavirus is like taking over so so the focus on the real problems is like going down and the, then the focus on the coronavirus is getting higher and higher which is like shifting the energies of like doing the good and right things for the planet is just going down compared to what is really needed take a while before it's all gone and people just start to forget about it again and then everything will turn back to normal and we are producing a lot of compost this is a, one of our compost piles and actually it looks very very nice compared to the other times and I think the reason is that bucket the chicken from the neighbor I think they think that's a human or something evil so like a bucket on a stick can prevent chicken to dig up all of this nice compost and then we can uh, just put the scraps and uh, put some straw on top or something dry leaves and then it will keep the flies away and of course you're fully aware that in some places in China it's hard to get produce it's hard to get real good food or at least any food and that's also the reason why I'm staying here um, imagine that you're in some area and then your area just gets locked down by the government or by the military and you cannot leave and there's like a infection spread and there's maybe scarce food resources and people like criminal criminality will rise and people are just fighting to get the last scraps of food and when you're in a place like this you have just bananas and fruit growing everywhere you can just almost isolate yourself you just need to build a wall or like a thunder dome a dome of thunder around your area so nobody can come in and steal your bananas yeah so our bananas are really highly approved our best banana rack was stolen by local people <laughs> our bananas are so good that even on the countryside people are stealing bananas from uh, 
the vegan camp of Thailand, Lekking Reg Vegan Camp. There is a higher risk when traveling that you can come in a situation where you might not be able to leave your country or might not be able to come back to your own country because the it's hyped up. It's not because the, the coronavirus is super dangerous, it's because the governments and the institutions are just like hyping it up so bad that people are afraid and oh, are you wearing a mask? Is it because you have coronavirus or are you afraid of the coronavirus? Or is it just because the air is bad? So people are like very careful, very, I mean, there's nothing wrong to be careful, but the real danger in, a, in the coronavirus outbreak is all the after effects. So this is the automatic sprinkler area. It's currently being operated manually because the battery just yeah, died almost because I used it too much without getting giving it enough power. And again, it's uh, thanks to the coronavirus that everything is delayed. <laughs> My solar panels. But yeah, also a very nice reason to stay here is like all the leafy greens. Eat leafy greens every day. So before I had one small solar panel, now I have two. These are like 12 volt each, but can their output is like 19 volts in the high sun, like 36 volts. The one cannot charge this battery when this solenoid valve is, is running. That's why I wanted a bigger one. Now I also have installed a solar charge controller, like a very small and cheap one. Before I had just one solar panel just directly connected to the battery, which is a bad idea. Now with the solar charge controller I can protect the battery much more from undercharging and overcharging. Specifically when I have two, I would never put two in series and to charge the battery. This is just a small roof, two stones supporting it, metal, beams, whatever, and then protection of the valve and then manual control of the sprinkler system. That's it. So tomatoes growing here very well. Avocado tree growing there and you know the leafy greens. You can just like strip off the leaves from the bottom or whenever they get mature really nice way to have a lot of leafy greens all the time and it grows really well here because of the sprinkler system and also because this was like a compost area before most of the compost is being used elsewhere but still the ground underneath the compost is still very like fertile and we left some of the compost there yeah, the super lightweight tent was smelling bad and i was like planning on going somewhere soon for the durians but the durians are late this year also because of the late monsoon and then no rain so like keeping it outside for a couple of days and the smell is gone if you want you can come and enjoy the mangoes in may if all of them won't crack before then very dry season is making them crack Outdoor shower. All the cauliflowers have been eaten and now their new ones are coming here. So many mulberries, but many birds are eating them before they get ripe. It's, yeah, nice food for the birds. These papayas are so huge. And also that tree. Like, these are also very good for uh, papaya salads. The orange type for papaya salads, very nice. Oh, now we can almost see the mountains. That means that the air is not super mega bad. So those mountains are approximately eight kilometers away. And those mountains you cannot see are approximately 16 kilometers away. When the air is nice, you can see those mountains over there. In the dry season, we need to take many of the bananas prematurely because the, the palm cannot support them. They're not like the super the best, but they're still quite good. Like the other ones over there, there, and over there. Oh. 
and the long guns are coming up. So if you want to eat long gun, you're welcome to come in August. The sound of the bees is so nice in the mornings. Now they're not so active anymore. The whole tent can fit in this uh, small bag and it's in total 950 grams. I mean, it's including the pole and including the, um, the spears in the ground. Insane. It's noon and here are the values. Sometimes you get two in one go with the bucket harvester. Every month the filters are cleaned, so we have fresh water to drink from the temple well. Recently I also installed these pre-filters. This looks quite clean. This one has the even some green algae growth or whatever and also the some brown residue from the pipes. It's fine. I'll just clean it. It's for the kitchen sink. I think this is this is it for today. And this one I I mean I already ate three. Maybe I can eat this later. Otherwise, I'll need to uh, put it in the refrigerator or freeze it. I'll need to eat this one too. I poked it with my finger.